Hi Pisces, I hope that you're all doing well today. I want to thank you so much for having another 100 views. Of course, double, triple that on your last video. Uh, I really appreciate all of the support. It means everything to me. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. It's great to have you. And that being said, let's get into this for you. I'm going to see what's up with you and what's up with whoever it is that you're dealing with or thinking about. The first card and basically identify with whichever side you resonate with. Okay. And again, these are general messages, so they won't resonate for everyone. So don't take it personally and don't get upset. If it's not your story, it's not your story. And there'll be other messages. So don't worry. Maybe that one will be for you. But the first card we have is the youth card. All right. So this is about adventure, new horizons, excitement, independence, freedom, rebellion, impulsiveness, loyalty, compromise. And the key phrases that are associated with this card would be quest for adventure or live in the moment, action without thought, defying tradition and conformity, greater risk, greater reward, assert your independence, embrace individuality, <laughs> a new direction, freedom from fear and doubts, a time of conflict or turmoil, communication and compromise, and address desires. So I feel like whoever this individual is, if this is you, you might be not addressing what it is that you want in a connection. Possibly there could be some turmoil or a conflict with the individual that you're dealing with. I also feel though that some of you are at that point where you are embracing your individuality. Basically, some of you as well are very bored with the routine of your life. Maybe you're staring out the window, right? Or dreaming of something different, of maybe change or new direction. Maybe you've expressed this need for change and you were only met with platitudes, told that, you know, if you focus on loving and appreciating what you already have, that you will be happy. Or maybe you're being reminded of what you might lose if you make a radical change to your life. Choose to defy convention or rebel against tradition. That could be something you want to do. When you voice your need to do something more with your life, do people around you suddenly question their own importance as if they should be held in higher regard than your own dreams and ambitions? Understand that we are ever evolving and transforming beings. So sometimes we develop new interests because they are meant to steer us in a new direction to change and transform our lives in every way so that we may grow to reach our fullest potential. Sometimes these interests can create an awareness that we are meant to leave the life that we have and explore unexplored realms of possibility and opportunity. The new interests reveal that those who have grown together are now meant to grow apart. If the youth appears in the present, which it has, it does represent a necessity to address a desire for change within your life and asks that you have the courage and determination to make your choice without allowing others to discourage you or steer you in a direction of choosing. If you do not put your own interests first, the potential for greater unhappiness and conflict will increase. You have dreamed for long enough. Now is the time to act, even if it means leaving behind all that is safe and familiar. Wow. So someone's very stuck here, but something is calling them. Something is calling them to move out into the world, to try something new. And usually that is what happens when we've been bored for too long. I mean, boredom comes once in a while, of course, but there's something here that's saying that someone needs a change, but I feel like it's a big change. And I look at those mountains in the background, and to me, it even signifies moving, like making a big move, maybe even selling a house. And maybe that's what is holding somebody back is the daunting task of having to get everything together so that you can move forward, right? But this card is telling you that this is something inside that's trying to spark you to move on. And I just looked at these shooting stars here. There's so, so much for you to explore. And I think that you just need to remove the blockages of anybody else who will kibosh your ideas. The person you're dealing with, they're coming up as the two of air. 
So that's about duality, polarity, separation, unity, dictomy, integration, choice, and big picture, all right? So the key phrases is everything has an opposite. Duality divides and separates. Polarity unites and integrates. When you create, you also destroy. Embrace an open mind. Nothing is ever black and white. A choice between dichotomy and integration, and sometimes both parties can be right. Very interesting. This is showing up in the present. I wonder if it's because of a potential blockage, which cautions against taking um, an approach to black or white thinking, because then you move through life with a closed mind and eyes that only see part of what is. It is basically to refuse to look at the bigger picture. Maybe this individual is taking a rigid and inflexible stance when an open mind and heart is needed. Understanding is definitely required, and that means accepting that sometimes there is no right or wrong. Sometimes both parties can be right, and both parties can be wrong. So embracing the spectrum of color that is life basically opens the mind and in turn reveals that there is more than just the right choice or the wrong choice available. So someone's in some black and white thinking here, and somebody is ready to open up quite the contrast. What is the situation? Um, what are the feelings about this travel, this adventure, this boredom in life? What What is the feeling? Lovers. Okay, so again, you have to make a choice here. And I feel that it's because maybe someone sparked an interest and now you have to decide what do you want to do? Do you want to continue your life and whatever is about to open up for you in these vast lands or do you want to commit to somebody and if you commit to somebody or something then are you going to be happy i think that there's a big huge question here between what you want to do versus what you don't want to do this person over here with the black and white thinking they're very focused on stability right now and security and abundance this could be about an inheritance of some sort, but they're looking at the big picture, the long-term picture of financial stability. That's what I'm getting here. They want abundance and maybe they're struggling with their finances. And it's interesting too, because I just saw the scales here on this card. Okay. So there needs to be a balance and maybe someone is just too rigid because they're only focused on career or money or materialisms. So for this person, maybe they have a tough time multitasking or integrating different parts of everything, but there's something about a big picture here. So we'll keep going. What about this lover's card? Judgment, told you. Some of you are deciding in the moment right now what it is that you want to do, stay or go. But I have a feeling that if you do choose somebody, this is going to take you on a big adventure and I feel as though it's going to uproot you, uproot your whole life. And that's gonna make you leave your stability behind. And maybe that's what the issue is with this person. Maybe they're like, well, you know, you have the stability, you've got everything that you need. You've got your house, your car, your home, your boat, your toys. Why, why would you leave that behind for this connection or this travel or this adventure? And I think it's just a matter of a contrast between the openness between these people. One is open and would be willing to take a chance on whatever comes about but this person there you go king of swords libra aquarius gemini energy hmm i'm getting this feeling and you could be dealing with a lawyer could be dealing with a judge you could work in the legal industry some of you might be fighting 
with yourselves right now about what is right or wrong, right? Establishing this moral compass because it, it does get very shady, but sometimes something is bad, right? Not all of the time. And that's where we come into the gray areas of life. But there's a decision that needs to be made here. And whoever this is, I just feel that they're being so stuck and focused on money and materialisms and stability. This person here, I feel like they, especially with two major arcanas, look at that. This person, this person wants to expand. This person, I feel, has been through a lot and enough to know that it's okay to take risks sometimes, no matter how stable they may already be in a situation. So you can definitely see the conflict here. And if this isn't even another person, this could be other people's opinions as to what it is that you want to do with your life. But it's about making yourself feel whole inside. You're looking back. And a lot of you have struggled. You struggled by listening and conforming to what it is that other people have wanted, but they have been very rigid. So they could have criticized you. But this is about you, Pisces. This is about what you need to do for yourself. See, this, this independence. Something tells me that you already know, no matter what it is, you will always find your stability. You are self-made. That's what that Nine of Pentacles is. You are self-made. So it doesn't matter where it is that you go in the world. I, I'm getting this, okay, so if I have to leave my house, there's other houses that I can buy. If I have to leave my job, there's other jobs I can get. You're very resourceful. And what I love about that is that's giving you that self-belief and that passion to follow a star, follow your star, follow your dreams, or be open to adventuring into different places and situations. Almost as though you're young again. Now, some people may judge you because of your age, and they may say to you, well, you know, Pisces, let's think about it. You're not getting any younger. Well, isn't that closed mind thinking though? Isn't that black or white thinking? Isn't that saying, hey, well, unless I'm a certain age, I'm not allowed to explore. I'm not allowed to travel. I'm not allowed to move. I'm not allowed to uproot my life and go do something different, move to Costa Rica and open a bar. At the end of the day, you need to listen to that youthful guidance within you and that spark. Because if you're bored in life, then are you really living anymore? Or are you just existing? So I just feel that somebody might be a little harsh or this could also be just another piece of your mind and where you're battling it out, the duality here, especially with the lovers and the duality, you just might be battling it out with yourself. A part of you just wants to pack up and leave, put whatever you've got into a suitcase and have at it. But then the logical side of you is saying, yeah, but <laughs> I, I have everything that I need right now. Wow, very interesting. King of Wands. So now you have two kings as well. This is about being very outward focused. This king has a vision for what he sees long term. And it's interesting because both are both are right. I get it now. Wow. Talk about a psychological head trip. Both are right, both are right. This one is the passionate, explorer, charismatic, brave, bold, will go out there and do whatever it takes and make it happen, no matter what age they're at. But this one is also the logical one, <laughs> who is very smart. I feel that these are two facets of you that are fighting, and you're trying to come to a conclusion with this judgment card about what the right thing is to do but at the end of the day the answer is right here is that no matter what you choose it will be right does that make sense if you give up your possessions you can always attain more if you give up your freedom then you'll have your possessions either or you're right i guess it's a matter of what matters most very interesting all right so 
Let's see then. It looks as though you need to make a serious decision about going out and living your life or staying safe and comfortable. Let's see what Spirit's got for a postcard for you. Ooh. Let's see. Postcard from Spirit, please, for Pisces regarding this situation. Dearest you, even though life seems now to be moving full steam ahead, it's a time to rest. Allow ideas to flow through you and take root in your heart before they reach your mind. Honor this process by becoming empty to allow for inspiration and the magic of dreaming. You might feel lazy or unproductive, but we know better. Just as sleep is a way to recharge before renewal, so are you in a time for dreaming. In this powerful process of co-creation, your soul merges with spirit in a profound way so you can receive your music directly from source and play your part in the symphony of life. You are being invited to bear witness to the great creation and tune in to what others can't hear. We have so many dreams to share with you in the sacred and the invisible. Don't worry, we will wake you when it's time to return with a new dream. No need to set an alarm clock. Loving you always. I love this. You know what, I think what this is saying, Pisces, is because this is a serious decision that you need to make, a big decision, quiet yourself and allow yourself to just dream just just daydream and see where your thoughts take you see what is presented to you and each thought that comes along listen to how your body feels right you feel that that uh, energy within you in your heart and your heart will know you'll know the answer if you still yourself to listen to what it is that you need to do but again what spirit is saying here is no matter what it is you're always right. You're right. Beautiful. All right, Pisces, have an amazing rest of your day, and thanks again for tuning in. See you again soon. Bye.